Welcome to Movie World Plus. I'm Andy Signor, and I'm here to review Dwayne The Rock Johnson in Black Adam. Now, I gotta be honest. I wasn't going into this movie super stoked. I like The Rock. I really do, but I'm feeling such heavy superhero fatigue. Just feel like I'm starting to see it all between all the Marvel shows, etc. I've not been the biggest DC film fan, even though they have the best characters. Uh, and yeah, I went into this film really not expecting much. In fact, I saw some reviews already coming in last night. They were not raving about this movie by any stretch of the imagination. A lot of people just sort of saying, yeah, it's not very good, blah, blah, blah. People sort of jumping on the Rotten Tomato scores as if those matter, guys. Uh, my man Lewis over at Nerd Report gave it a positive view and he gave my hopes up. And I thought, okay, and I heard some spoilers about, potential spoilers rather, about end credit scenes and what they could be. So I went into this movie, you know, not excited, but open-minded. And I gotta say, I left Black Adam with a big smile on my face. I really enjoyed myself. Now, granted, I turned my brain off. I really sort of just went in to just sort of have fun, and I had fun. And beyond just not even turning your brain off, I really think this film does something that a lot of other superheroes are afraid to do, which is have stakes, but also have a darker tone. And I don't mean like super dark Batman, like Nolan Batman, or even Zack Snyder dark. I'm just talking about a different type of tone in that what is a hero there for? How far does a hero go to protect the people. And that is really the question at hand in Black Adam, which I got to admit, I really enjoyed. And when I first saw like, oh, Black Adam, why this rock? We have so many anti-heroes already. Every villain in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is a anti-hero. And so I just was like, ugh, just felt like I was defeated already a little bit, like really another one. But I got to say the way they handle him in this film really worked for me. Uh, there's a, uh, a character here that, yeah, he's an anti-hero in a way, but he's also just a hero in a different sense of the word. Uh, there's uh, a lot of interesting parts, action scenes, etc., where it really comes to head is the Just Society of America. You've seen him in the, pro uh, the promos and the posters. Here is the crew that sort of shows up in an attempt to take down Black Adam for the safety of the world because Black Adam comes out and is this threat. But the more you learn about Black Adam, obviously there's more to his reasonings about what he does and where he's come from. Um, the Justice League of Society cast, I, I gotta say, Dr. Fate, pff, he's awesome. Pierce Brosnan is great. I loved it. I really enjoyed this character. It begs some questions as to, well, where's he been? Couldn't he just solve all the world's problems if he can see the future? But you gotta sort of put that aside and, and Pierce Brosnan does uh, create a really fun, smart uh, interesting character, and it's really cool to see Dr. Fate. I had the little, I had the Super Friends figure back in the day. Uh, it was really cool to see Dr. Fate come alive, and they do sort of give it away of like, I have, I have, uh, you know, visions of the future, and they can change just sort of what he, how, how they sort of justify it. Uh, Dr. Fate's great. Uh, the other two heroes, I think it's Cyclone and uh, Adam Smasher. The actors are fine. Uh, Cyclone's pretty much just there to spin around, be the girl. It's, it's a very, generic girl character it's written she has eyes for adam smasher and they flirt a little bit and they give her one scene of a backstory that's like oh wow and then nothing more for her to do she's both of the them in the middle are sort of just there to be team players and don't really get to do much and i was fine with that because they're not the most interesting of the characters to be honest um they're there to sort of just be cute and be cute. Both of them really uh hawk hawkman is really uh the 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 the, the uh more, uh, the bigger role. And at first this character kind of annoyed me, but then I realized that was the point. The Justice Society shows up in this, uh, country. I forget what it's called. Sorry from the comics, et cetera, but basically this country that's been uh, taken over by soldiers, et cetera. And, uh, Black Adam in the history of their, you know, their legends was the savior of this town, the protector, you know, the hero. And, uh, plot points in the beginning sort of obviously bring him back along with some other things. And, uh, what, what it was really interesting about this movie is when the justice leagues, justice society, sorry, is called to be activated. Um, they're there to take out black Adam. And when they show up, they're booed because this society, this, uh, this country like is like, no, he's our protector. He's here to help us at all costs. He'll murder these guys, these soldiers, whatever he's got to do to protect us. That's what a hero does. 
But then Hawkman, you know, come, everybody comes in and they're like, well, no, you can't kill these people. There's other ways. We have to put them into prison. And it starts to really ask this question of, well, how far can a hero go? Which, you know, I feel like they tried to address in Batman v Superman and does Batman kill and Snyder was trying to get those themes, but I always felt like they just got bogged down with style over substance. In this film, I did feel like there was an interesting debate as to what can a hero do? How far can they go? And the back and forth between the Justice Society and Black Adam and sort of the, that line really worked for me. It was something different that I don't feel like had been done previously. Like Marvel sort of tackled that topic with like the Age of Ultron and then Civil War and the Sokovia Accords, et cetera. Um, like how do we actually protect the people instead of just destroy cities in our in our doing? Uh, it was an interesting idea. And so I liked it. And, and Black Adam is, does not shy away from dropping the, the soldiers to protect his town or whatever he's, you know, his motives are throughout the movie. I won't spoil what, what his motives are and how it goes, but there is some interesting uh, character revelations of, from him. If you don't know the comics and uh, overall, I was just impressed. Like, yeah, he, he is, he, it's darker than you'd expect to see. They, they go there at times, but then they also find some lighthearted moments. There are some moments where people are trying, you know, he's, they're trying to make him a little bit more lighthearted. It's almost like Terminator esque. And that also worked for me. Uh, overall, I got to say, I really enjoyed The Rock's performance. It's tailor-made for him. He doesn't have to say a lot. He gives to give a lot of looks. He looks menacing. He looks like a badass. He's funny at times, surprisingly, in that sort of Terminator-esque way. Uh, and uh, T2, rather. And um, overall, yeah, I, really, I, did, I felt for the character. There's a good turn pointing for him. And, you know, arcs, et cetera, is what I mean to say. Sorry, I'm trying. I mean, it's, it's hard. I don't want to spoil things, but you know, it's uh, typical superhero stuff, but stakes and a darker tone that made me appreciate it more. And uh, yeah, even though these two characters in the middle are a little bit less, you know, developed than the rest of the movie characters, even they're kind of cool. The, the, the fighting scenes are, are badass. Dr. Fate is great. It is a, a version of Dr. Strange, but I, I actually think I prefer the Pierce Brosnan version than the, than the cocky Benedict Cumberbatch Tony Stark thing. Like he's a different character. He's yes. He's like a wizard. Uh, but he, I don't know. There's just something more interesting about him. Uh, and I, I'm intriguing. It, Pierce Brosnan is a great addition to this, this movie. Um, and, uh, yeah, overall good cast, good action, good stakes. I had a few problems throughout the plot points. It's like, it's not a perfect movie by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it's a lot of hitting a lot of similar beeps beats. There is a sky beam at one point, but overall, look, what are we supposed to get out of these movies? What do we want? What are we looking for? Ultimately a good time at the movies. And that's what I had. I got to admit it. I had it. In fact, I enjoyed this more than a lot of the other DC films of late Aquaman. It was okay. Shazam. It was pretty good. Uh, I think wonder woman obviously is still the, for me, the best one. It really, really hit it out of the park. The first one, uh, I got to say Black Adam is right up there with the DCU stuff. So um, it fits into that world. It sort of has some cameos from that world, some smaller characters you'll see. And uh, overall, I thought an interesting in 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 installment into this sort of middle phase of where the DC world is headed. Obviously, Warner Brothers is uh, in, under new regime. Discoveries come in and there's big plans for DC moving forward. And yes, this film seems to set that up in a way that, I'm kind of excited. I, I got to say, I, I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed The Rock. It's it's fun. It's got some serious heft, some drama rather, uh, some darkness to it. Uh, I liked it. That's the best I can say. So I hope people won't be out there just trusting whatever dumb Rotten Tomatoes nonsense you're seeing out there and other people are just being, I don't know why people are being so negative about this film. Uh, to me, it was way better than the Marvel shows of recent uh, the rock really, this was a, I understand why he waited for this character and took so long. This is a character that worked for him. He has an interesting backstory. There are some twists and turns to what's happening. It surprised me in ways that I didn't expect. And overall, I just had a good time. And that's what the movie theater experience is ultimately supposed to be good film, good stories, good characters, and a good time. And yeah, this film delivered those for me. So bravo to the team and the rock, uh, uh, black Adam is, is solid. Definitely check it out if you want to have some fun and you want to see a good big, big popcorn movie superhero film. Black Adam delivered for me. 
What do you guys think? It opens tomorrow. I'm curious. Are you excited? Did you already see it? Are you getting ready? Do you have your tickets? I want to hear all your thoughts, uh, but also make sure you hit that subscribe button here to Movie World Plus. Hit the bell so you get alerted to my movie reviews and movie commentary. Smash that like button for me for the engagement and leave a comment on your thoughts on this. How excited were you? Uh, and then after you saw it, come back. Let me know what you really think. I do check those comments. I like to see what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more movie content here on Movie World Plus.